Hi, my name is Bridget and today I have a different look going on. It's a 50s look because I have a school project and I thought it would be cool to film with my hair like this in this dress because I thought it looked cute. So I decided to film and I didn't really know what I wanted to film but I wanted to film something. So I decided that I'd film a bookshelf tour of my new bookshelf that I put all my TBR books on because I wanted to do something with it like this and it's not my full huge bookshelf that you've seen a tour of last year this is like a new one that I put all the books I haven't yet read on here in the future sometime soonish I'm going to do a tour of my whole big bookshelf because it's really pretty right now it's not so pretty which is why I'm not filming that one today also I just thought I'd mention this bookshelf is not in the order of like books and it doesn't have an order that you would normally see like these books go together because they're by the same author, which I do all the time. My god, I love having books by the same author together. It bothers the heck out of me when the author books are not together, but on here, they're not together because this is the order I plan on reading them. So basically, this is like a TBR for my whole year, basically, but it's not. This is just the order I think I'm going to read them in. I might not read them in this order. Obviously, my feelings change towards what I feel like reading. So I might not read it automatically then, or I might read it sooner. I don't know. I could be like, I really want to read Endgame right now, and then I'd go read Endgame instead of waiting for the end of the year to read it. That's why some of the authors are like not together, which really bothers me, but it's like, this is the order I'm going to read them in. So it's okay. It's okay. So it starts over here with the books I have read like this month, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry is there, and American Gods by Neil Gaiman, which just so happened to be the last two books we read for the Bookish Thoughts and Feelings group that I run. And then as we go down the line, we have my Funko Pops, which are super cute and I love so much. My little Harry Potter, who's super cute and has a little snitch, Hermione, who's super cute too. I don't have Ron as of right now, which is sort of sad because I want the whole golden tree. And then there's Sherlock from the show, Sherlock with Bennett Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman. It's great. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's on Netflix. And then we have the green arrow who's super cute as well. He's got a little bow and his mask and everything. And oh my gosh, it's just so cute. He might be my favorite. He's so cute. And then of course we have Flash and he's really cute too. Barry Allen is my fave. And then we have Captain Cold. And I got him because I'm, as of right now, obsessed with Prison Break. The guy who plays Captain Cold is the star of it. So obviously I had to get the Funko Pop. I love his little cold gun. It's so cute. And then I think who's my favorite? He's the first one I got. There's a little Cass. Oh my gosh, he's so cute from Supernatural. He's so cute and small. He doesn't stand up on his own, but he's adorable. And then we have the Impala. The front opens, but the back doesn't, which I think is sort of weird because I think if you could open the trunk would be really cool because they have all the demon fighting stuff in there, like all their weapons and stuff. So that could be cool if they put that in there, but they didn't. So, you know, look at all of those, they're so cute. So then we're going to go down to the shelf with the actual books start that I have not read yet. Shelf two. Or shelf one, if you really want to talk about it. A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. The Runaway King by Jennifer A. Nielsen. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, which is actually our current book of the month for bookish thoughts and feelings. And our live show will be happening at the beginning of next month. Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Beastly Bones by William Ritter. Sherlock Chronicles by Steve Tribe. And this is actually the show that I was talking about with the Sherlock Funko Pop. And the Cumberbatch is amazing. So of course I had to get this so I could see the behind the scenes stuff and all that. And then here on the bottom we have Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes, which I'm really sad I haven't read yet and I really need to. And I'm actually already like that far in, so obviously I just need to continue. I'm just gonna move you over here so you can see the rest of the shelf. Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass. The Coral Island by R.M. Valentine. Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Mass. So upset I haven't read the rest of the Throne of Glass series. You're Never Weird on the Internet, Almost by Felicia Day. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater. The Shadow Throne by Jennifer A. Nielsen. Winter by Marissa Meyer. I'm super mad I haven't read this one yet either. Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. Maybe One Day by Melissa Cantor. And then we go down to the bottom shelf. 
Powerless by Tara Lynn Childs and Tracy Deeps. Is that how you say it? Deep Steps? I don't know. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan. The Legacy of Ogma by E. A. Rappaport. The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. All Fall Down by Jennifer Weiner. Weiner? Weiner? I don't know. Sorry. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. The Serpent Shadow by Rick Riordan. Tomorrow When the War Began by John Marsden. The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. This is my Illuminae preview chapter sampler thing, which represents Illuminae's spot in my reading schedule thing that I told you about. Magic by Angie Sage, which I still have not read yet. An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Rebellion by J.D. Netto. Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. Endgame by James Frey. And then over here is a floating bookshelf, which I really like. And it has some other books. Some that I read, some that I haven't. This Book Loves You by PewDiePie. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. And Illuminae is the one left by Amy Hoffman and Jay Kristoff. I'll have my other bookshelf tour up someday soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Why haven't I read some of these already? I don't know. You remember last year when I was in a really bad reading slump for January? Maybe that's just a yearly occurrence because I'm in a really bad reading slump right now and it's like the middle of March. I know it's like you can read at your own pace, doesn't really matter, but I want to be reading. That's the thing. I want to read. It's just I don't have time, and then when I do have time, it's like, it's just easier to watch Netflix. I really just gotta get back into reading and doing all that because I do love reading so much. That's why I created this channel. Tell me if you like this location, if you like this bookshelf. Do you think that the organization method of like what order you're gonna read it in is really bad? I don't know how I feel about it. I like it because I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna read that next. I have all of these books to read, so I better go get reading. That's all I have to talk with you guys about today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video, which will be up very soon, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, bye! These victory rolls took forever, and my makeup it took me like an hour and a half, and I wasn't even doing anything. I was just sitting there. Does it look good? What do you think? What would you rate it out of 10? My dress is all 1942. So old-fashioned.